Growing up here, great town. Everybody knows you, you know everybody else. Tight-knit community. There's no hustle or bustle here. Small town USA. Well, I went to elementary school here, K through six. I worked at the co-op uptown. Went to church, what's left of it, I see. This is the most surreal event I've ever been in, in my life. I've, you see it on the news all the time, and you don't know anything until you're actually in the middle of it, like we are right now. Me and a number of Samaritan's Purse volunteers, and I didn't know any of them, but we all joined hands and got busy. We were assigned the address, so we walked across town and there it was. It was, I hadn't been in that house in years since I was a little kid. And yeah, everything all came back to being a little kid. I think the last time I was in there was probably a Thanksgiving dinner. And as a kid, and wow, a flood of memories came back for that. I think the house, uh, my parents acquired it probably in about around 1960. I was born in 64, so I had all of my years here at this house. You know, there's a lot of memories. I've seen a few people today that have been here to help out that were family friends that came in and uh, we played out back. We played in you know, different sheds and played hide and seek outside and went to their homes and, and played with them too. Um, so, you know, there's just so much, so many memories here. Uh, it's just fond memories of of the house and the town, and I, I mean, I have a great love for the town. Bilger's town motto is to a town too tough to die. It ain't gonna kill them. It's a little more than a hiccup, though, but they'll be all right. I know we will. And I have to say, you know, it's been with, uh, with the help of Samaritan's Purse today that we've really <laughs> made great strides. I thought this was going to take weeks and months, but now we're down to days of what we need to, to deal through here at the home. So I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful. Almighty God, we just thank you. On top of the destruction and devastation, the positive, the good that can come out of such a, a terrible and awful event, you know, it really, uh, it's, it's heartwarming. You, know, you feel like everything's been taken away, and yet then there's this outpouring of support, which uh, renews one's comfort and faith and, and just to know that there is a Lord and He's watching out for us, uh, providing even in times of terrible devastation and need. So I, I can't say enough. I mean, thank you. It's been it's been marvelous.